Well, we're over on the training track right now, uh, and on the far side, right over there, is our good friend Foolish to Deceive, who's uh, jogging this morning, just jogging about a mile, I think. Right, Craig? Mile, yeah. And um, the training track is no more than a stone's throw away from the main track, both now dirt surfaces, and that's that's Foolish to Deceive right over there on the, the far side, and we'll check him out when he comes closer to us. Kind of a neat uh, area. It's where they park a lot of cars during uh, during race days. But um, Foolish to Deceive is uh, galloping beneath. See all those white condos over there? Good friend of mine, uh, Mike Pegram, has one of those condos. And Madeline Paulson used to. Craig, do you know if she still does? I'm not sure she does. Madeline Paulson. I the, haven't the, seen her out there Sunday <laughs> Supposedly that's pretty interesting. Uh, can be pretty interesting. Um, you can tell we take things pretty seriously here um, in our training sessions. So that's foolish to deceive. I'm going to kind of dog paddle here for a little bit until he comes off the racetrack so people can see him. And uh, thankfully, Craig's been entertaining and client John Sondrecker is here as well too. Um, it's nice to have company these mornings but this horse is um, getting back to a little bit more serious stuff this horse is um, has really started to drop the pounds he was as Craig put it kind of chunky um, back in the spring and early summer but as we're beginning to really put the exercise regime into him and, and get him training a lot harder and getting some breeze work into him he is uh, starting to drop drop a little bit of the weight so I'm gonna kind of like go right over here you can get him coming off the off the racetrack and give people an idea of how foolish to deceive is uh, as I said starting to firm up look a little bit more like like a fit racehorse there he is that's a perfect shot of him just asked this morning by one of the West Point crew uh, you know on the East Coast how's he how's he doing I said he's getting fitter and that is that is the case getting fitter fitter fitter